this is Ann. I'm back. Yay! Anyway, um, yes, I'm feeling quite a bit better than I did the other day when I was talking about my sister. In the meantime, let's talk about something pleasant like makeup. Nice stuff. Anyway, I ordered this from Amazon. Nice palette. Let's try and get this in the right place for the pictures. Yeah, there. All right. That looks pretty good. Anyway, this is a Beauty Creations palette. And Beauty Creations very often is sold on Amazon in like the mid-teens. This time, however, this one was listed for a penny. And the shipping cost was $3.99. Now, I've seen prices like this on Wish and AliExpress, and you gotta kind of wonder if this is one of the ripoffs, or you know, it's gonna be full of like bug guts and and mouse dew and that kind of thing. However, this came very nicely wrapped. It was in good condition when I got it. I haven't seen you know like any odd, unidentifiable chunks in any of the any of the pans, and most of the colors work very nicely. So I've been happy playing with this so far but i figured why display with it why not show people it's like yes i know i'm cheap but sometimes it works out i figured i could you know use four bucks and take that risk and decide and then show you what i actually got for that like i said this i've seen these in amazon for in the teens repeatedly. This is the Beauty Creations palette ELSA, E-L-S-A. Now, I can't tell you the names of the colors that I'm going to be using because they didn't give me the names. They just put the colors in the pans and there you go. Now, first thing I'm going to work with is I'm going to put some eye primer on. You know, we've got the eye primer stuff going here. Now, the top of the bottle looks a bit like the uh, Primer Potion bottle, but it's not Primer Potion. It's done by a company called Ruby Kisses, and it's four bucks. Anyway, it's got a nice doe foot applicator. It's got a kind of creamy pale beige for the color. The texture is very nice. But I figure, you know, this is another one of those, for four bucks, I'll take a shot at it. It dries down to a very nice texture. I haven't had any problem with additional creasing or anything like that. Once it starts to dry down, since I've got hooded eyes, I usually have that little space here where it creases along the, the hood line. And I just pat that out and go on. And it pretty much stays put once I get to that point. Now, one of the things I like about the kind of beigey, pale, almost white, is that unlike things like the um, Paint Pot Painterly, I've heard people complain about that one having too much of a yellow cast and changing the color, and the light ochre is sometimes said to be a little too dark. So, you know, and it's a little cheaper than the NYX white pencil. So there you go. Now, I also found myself a nice stand mirror, whole 10 bucks. It's just out of camera range, which is delightful. But I can see what I'm doing. Pat that out just a little bit. And while that finishes setting up, I'm going to get my favorite eyebrow pencil and have at. I have gone through so many of these. This is the e.l.f eyebrow pencil. I'm still trying to get used to the new camera. I can't find things half the time with the camera, so there you go. Nice little eyebrow pencil. I love this thing. The color works well on me. I have never had a real problem with it. And the spoolie is wonderful because it's not like really, really stiff and rough. And it's not so lightweight that a few hairs will give it a fit. 
get this on here. La, la, la. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm going to be probably la 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 a lot. Now, when I first started doing this channel, if any of you happen to remember, I practically had my eyebrows drawn on. They were really kind of scruffy. I started using this Grand Lash MD. Let me get this in the, there, in the picture. Grand Lash MD that I picked up in a um, Sephora play box where they were selling off their leftover boxes. It started working. I figured, hey, cool, this is great. But to replace this is 65 bucks. I don't got 65 bucks. So then I picked up the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, which is about seven bucks. And it's got this little brush in here where you can go along the edge of your eyelashes. It's also got spool cut into the stem so you can comb your eyebrows. So you can work on both to put some hair back in. It's actually done me pretty well. I've actually got a few hairs now instead of just drawn on pieces, which is great. Plus my eyelashes are much better off than they were. They're much extended. Another thing, and this comes from the DIY guides. One of the things about Mac Fix Plus that helps with keeping, you know, making the colors stay a little better and, you know, making them a little brighter when you spray your brushes is glycerin, vegetable glycerin. I added a few drops to my water bottle and it's working amazingly well. It's like, okay, yeah, it's not a expensive bottle of Mac Fix Plus, but it works. You know, who can complain? All right, enough of the drawing. Let's see. I'm just gonna take this brush and give a little sweep. Nothing on the brush, just a plain brush and make sure that I don't have any little creasy places before I pick up the brushes I'm going to use to smear things all over my face, or at least all over my eyes. Now, I picked up a technique from Mr. Wayne Goss for doing colorful looks with hooded eyes. When he first does his, his startup in the, um, in his video, this detailing the technique, he comes on and he's wearing browns and mattes. And he's got one eye done with this technique. And he's doing that to start off with because he's trying to make the point that it's the technique, not the colors. So he starts off with what most people tell people with hooded lids they really need to stick to. So you've got, you know, the browns and the mattes, nice quiet colors. So there you go. And then he went and pulled three color, very colorful pieces out of a palette and did a bright turquoise under the eye. And then this absolutely gorgeous burnt sienna over the main part of the lid. And then this intense deep blue at the, at the corners. And it was wonderful. And it didn't show that there was a hood there because instead of trying to to work around the hood he actually kind of worked the entire hood area into the 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 colors that there wasn't anything like trying to create a wing particularly or anything like that it was more trying just covering the entire area with the colors so that the hood was basically just part of the whole now, I've done this technique a couple of times, playing with it, and I've gotten up to about five colors, putting them, you know, from the inner corner out this way, and then just taking the one dark color to do this outside corner. It's fun. It looks good. I'm enjoying it. So, now, again, this is the way Mr. Goss does his technique. And he started under the eye, 
to begin with with a bright color. I'm going to do the same thing at least the first time that I do this on camera. I've got a really pretty orange, kind of a pumpkin-y orange. Let me try and get this in, in here. Really pretty color. A little shimmer. A little spritz. And I'm going right under the eye and start off this color full look. Now, when you get to this corner out here, don't go rounding it up to follow. You're not trying to follow. You're going to come out this way. And then as the other colors fill in, you're going to pull that final outside corner out this way instead of trying to create a wing going up. I know, sounds weird, but let me tell you, it looks good. Now see, the other thing is it's really not a matter of what color you use. You're not, it's not a point of the colors. It's whatever colors you want to use. It's like time to let yourself go a little bit wild and crazy if you want. It's a new year. Give it a shot. Take it over the top if you want. Go crazy. It's only makeup. What's it going to hurt? It, it's not going to make, it's not going to make somebody, if it makes somebody bad, tell them to step off. Because it's none of their business. Now, let's see. I'm going to go, since I went with that red colored there, I want to do something different. I'm going to use, I've got a really pretty, really pretty pale blue. Now, everything I'm using at this point has a bit of a shimmer to it. I like sparkly things. Anyway, I spritzed it a little and I'm going to start just tapping into the inner corner of my eye with this blue. I'm hoping that this shows up well on the camera because I like playing with these brights that I got in this palette. I finally have bright colors. It's fun. <laughs> And I, but the thing is, what it is, is I want you to see, I want you to be able to see how the technique works and show you that it doesn't have to be boring stuff just because it's a hooded eye. It also doesn't have to be boring stuff just because some of us have a few more years than others. I've already had couple of people think that I'm just out of my tree for going pretty much ham with brighter colors and shimmers and glitter occasionally because apparently 60 year old persons are not supposed to have fun. I got news. <laughs> They're going to get news. Because I've done these th this pattern with different colors a couple of times now and gone out and done my grocery shopping as is. And don't nobody got the nerve to come jumping up in my stuff about it. Now, I've got another really nice color here. Really, really pretty, kind of a light mossy green. Give everything a little spritz. Because everything I'm working with currently has got shimmer. This palette has more than exceeded 
my hopes blew away my expectations for a four dollar palette yeah not too bad not too bad now, anybody who's not been here before, let me tell you about my little dogs. I have two little dogs. One of them, whose name is Finnegan, barks like crazy for no good reason and likes to go tippy-toe tapping around while I try to film. He just, it's his thing. Poor little guy, in another couple of days, is going to be 12 years old. So I don't give him too much grief. He's earned a little bit of, of lenience for being a little pain in the backside. Now our other little dog is a whole year younger, but she mostly just kind of lays on the bed and keeps people company instead of tiptoeing around and trying to cause trouble. Yeah, Finnegan's one of those little dogs that thinks he's a great Dane in a tiny dog costume. I don't know. It's like... <laughs> All right. Clean that off just a little bit. I've got one of those um, microfiber washcloths here that I use to wipe off. I've also got, I made myself a color switch. You go to the Dollar Tree and you get yourself one of the little magnetic base tins and a uh, ponytail donut. There you go. I've got a couple, I got a two pack of the ponytail donut from the Dollar Tree where I am and I just switch them out when I need to dump the excess out of the bottom of the tin, go wash the ponytail band, put it back in. Works out great. Alrighty, now, that's, I've got a really nice deep blue in the palette, and I think that's going to be the outside corner. Get that spritz just a little. I'm just going to Again, just start dabbing because it's it's a shimmer. So I'm going to be a little bit judicious with starting to build this up. Now, I'm not going to carry it much farther in than about here as I'm picking along the uh, corner here. I'm just staying at that outside edge and kind of filling in and darkening up and just scooching this in just a little into that green. But this is where I start working on the lower eye again. Now I'm going to bring some of that blue down right here along where I've also got that orangey red that's already started. I'm not going to bring a lot. I'm just going to kind of connect it up right here in the corner. So what do you think so far, guys? Now, once we get the colors laid down, I will probably go in and fuss with it a little bit and take a brush and play with the edges and kind of soften some of it up and all that lovely stuff so I don't have like too many harsh lines. Sometimes it depends on the colors. Sometimes I don't mind doing kind of the harsh line thing. It's like but that's a particular look that I usually think of 
on some of the editorial looks. And I'm not normally that much on the editorial. just not anyway so got the corner pretty much laid in on both sides trying to look to see if it looks relatively even yeah, let's see a little more over here And probably need to touch a little more of the green. Get my brush. Get a little more of the green here. So they meet up a little better. Believe me, I will never ever be completely even, so. For one thing, whenever I close one eye to look at, to, to deal with the, with the other one, it's like, I can't see, so. <laughs> so much for that idea. Anyway, let's see. Where am I? that a little more so it looks a little more like the other side la 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 plain brush no new product da, 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 da. I promise I will get figured out where things are to get it in front of the camera I really will for some reason my webcam just where I thought I had everything lined up with the webcam, it just, it just wasn't. All right. Now, I'm going to get another one of my little pencil brushes. Now, before we put the upper lid color on, Mr. Goss actually went in and did mascara and false eyelashes before he did the upper lid color because it he said it helped getting the frame down for where you want the colors to run i tried that and i kept tripping over the eyelashes trying to get the colors in so i decided i was going to do it my way anyway now i'm going to take a little bit that sort of a pearly pink here. I'm just going to right here just a little bit nothing special just a little glow right up here. Now see the other thing I have found about this particular um, palette is I don't really have any fallout going on. It's like okay I haven't put anything else on my face but I don't have any real fallout from this particular palette. So I'm thrilled. Now I'm going to take a really pretty gold that's in this palette. It's almost like you're looking at 18 karat gold. It's like really deep gold. And I'm going to right here go in the corner and up just a little bit and then in the corner and down along that bottom lash line just a little bit because this gold is really 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 pretty okay 
pick up some more and do the other side. Up just a little bit, over just a little bit, down, across. Sounds like I'm doing a crossword puzzle. But I like that gold pop right there. Now, I'm going to turn the camera off, run away for a few minutes. I will put on probably not eyelashes because it's getting fairly late at night and I don't necessarily want to go there. So a little mascara and a little other face paint and come back and show you the finished look with all the colors. Yes, all the colors. Yeah, I'm having fun. I'll be right back, guys. Well, this is the finished look. Time for your opinions. We know you have them. <laughs> anyway, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I'd sing about it, but there's somebody else that I like to watch who already does that. So, wherever you are, be good.